this is Lady Boulay and I hope you're having a marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not, or whether we vote for Kamala Harris or Donald Trump. Well, I have some bad news for Candace Owens supporters. It seems like she is making enemies all around the world. Here is an article from the Sydney, Australia Morning Herald. Extremist influencer Candace Owens's Australian visa canceled by immigration minister. So Australia has canceled her visa so she can't enter their country. How's that for friendship? Extremist U.S. provocateur Candace Owens' Australian visa has been canceled as the government warns that her attacks on Jewish, Muslim, and trans people have the capacity to incite discord. Immigration Minister Tony Burke confirmed that the Donald Trump-aligned influencer who has claimed that Israel was founded by a cult and that secret Jewish gangs operate in Hollywood would not be allowed in Australia as federal labor attempts to lower the temperature on domestic protests about the war in the Middle East. So they are trying to keep their citizens under control. They don't need an outsider coming in there inciting anger and making the problems that they already have down there worse than what they already are. So good for them. And keeping her out seems like a good idea to me. From downplaying the impact of the Holocaust with comments about German SS officer Joseph Mengele all the way to claims that Muslims started slavery, Candace Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction, he said. Australia's national interest is best served when Candace Owens is somewhere else. <laughs> Owens rose to fame for her conservative activism. She was a communications director for Turning Point USA from 2017 to 2019, and in 2021, joined the conservative media company, The Daily Wire, to host her own political talk show. However, in March this year, she was dismissed following a series of anti-Semitic comments. She now hosts her own YouTube channel, and has 18 million online followers. Owens's comments have included describing Mengele's experiments on Auschwitz prisoners as bizarre propaganda. So for anybody who might not know, this is a picture of Joseph Mengele. He was a German officer during World War II. During the Holocaust at the concentration camp at Auschwitz, he was called the Angel of Death because he was one of the ones that was administering gas to those people and killing numerous numbers of Jews and other people as well. In the, world, in the world of Jewish people, he is one of the worst people that ever walked the earth. They're very sensitive about this and it's the hill they're willing to die on evidently. Jewish groups called for Owens' visa to be canceled in August. As Burke indicated, he would block it, telling this masthead, tickets to these events are selling for a hundred dollars. I hope she has a good refunds policy. Coalition immigration spokesman Dan Tian also said in August that labor should block Owens's visa to avoid the spread of hateful messages. So she's building up quite an arsenal of enemies and that doesn't bode well for anybody. Holocaust being about going on a hundred years behind us. What difference does it make? Something happened over there to those people. And whoever was responsible, might have been this group, might have been that group. It was more than Jewish people that were involved in that Holocaust. But something happened over there. And for people to say it didn't happen, it's propaganda too. And because her visa was canceled by the Minister of Immigration, they can refuse her entry into that country, especially because she, they think she's coming in there to incite anger and maybe even violence. So I'm not sure how she's going to get around that, but it's going to be interesting to see. Speaking on Sydney radio station 2GB in August, 
the far-right influencer who thinks Trump has become too moderate, said she was excited about traveling to Australia for her November tour. It's kind of incredible to think people could be so fearful of just speech and conversation, she told 2GB's Ben Fordham. I was quite surprised to see that they were like, don't give her a visa. She's a bad person. But I promise you, it is not going to harm you to hear different ideas. Yes, different ideas can be harmful when you are lying or when you are trying to incite people to anger or try to turn people against another group of people. That is very harmful. The event website describes Owens' tour as a delivery of raw and unfiltered commentary on politics, culture, and everyday life as ticket costs range from $95 to $1,500. Wow! Shows are scheduled in November in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane, and Adelaide. So she's got a big tour ahead of her that she may not be able to pull off because if the top government officials of a country say that you're not going to be able to do something in their country, you're not going to be able to do something in their country. Entertainment company Rockland is listed as the host of Orange's Tour, which describes itself as an organization that specializes in helping businesses and individuals develop strong personal and corporate brands. So they're going to be under scrutiny too. So that's what's going on with Candace Owens now. Gradually, she's building an army of enemies. And you know, the saying goes, if you give a fool enough rope, he'll hang himself. And we're going to find out if she's a fool or not, because the takedown seems to be gradual. And we're just going to see how this progresses over time. Some people may think she's doing some good in the world, and some of us don't. Because I don't see the point of going after people for no reason. And again, nobody knows if what she's saying is the absolute truth. I know that she puts together these scenarios. But I am very doubtful of a person who will turn on her own people. I'm very doubtful about her. But we shall see. We shall see how this all turns out. Okay, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about this. Candace Owens' Australian visa has been canceled, and she's not supposed to be going to Australia. But we'll see if she goes or not. All right, have a good evening.